channel today I have another video for you guys another story time which I know you guys love my story times this one is a little bit shorter but I still like the other day I was like thinking about it me acordé and I was like I have to tell them because this is hilarious before I do get into the story time I do want to ask you guys as always to please subscribe to my channel give me a like and go ahead and check out our other channels our family channel and my little puppies channel I'll leave everything down below linked and yeah you guys I think with that being said we're able to get into this funny ass story time okay you guys <laughs> so on this day I was still in high school I remember and I don't know if I told you guys but a lot of my story times have to do with my boyfriends and I wasn't like a, like I wasn't like I wouldn't take them serious, but I would have, like, the type of boyfriends where it sounds really, really mean. And now that I have a son, I'm like, damn, que descarada, because I would never want a, for a girl to do this to my son, you know? But this is just, a, like, how I was, and I regret it. I'm so sorry to all the guys that I did this to, but I would have, like, those type of boyfriends where I would, like, have my food boyfriend, I would have my boyfriend that would, like buy me things and things like that you know I would just take advantage of like I don't know the guys that like me so um this was a guy another guy that I met through remember I told you guys always about my group of friends that I would hang out with and that I would drink with and stuff and mind you I was still in high school so this sounds a little bit weird coming from a high schooler but yes that's the truth I used to have a group of friends which I would go party with them or whatever so he came into the group and um like they introduced me to him and they're like oh hey this is blah 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 and I was like okay let's call him he's most likely only gonna be in this story time because I was only with him for like three weeks to like a month at the most like I really was not even like serious with him we never had any any like type of you know like sex um just to be uh, straight to the point we never had anything like that it was literally only like three weeks and we would just hang out every day and then we would go out to eat go out to like the club and stuff and then that's it so yeah they introduced me to him and immediately I was like oh hey like I would always talk to like guys as my friends like even like the group of friends that I would hang out with they were like literally just my friends I guess I was like a fun person to be around like for guys they've always told me that like I have a good personality I just um I don't see I treat them as friends just like my girlfriends and I feel like I get along better with guys than with girls sometimes um, and yeah so on this day um, we were hanging out and they introduced me or whatever like I was saying and immediately you know I was like oh like me caíste bien like we were friends or whatever I was like really just not I didn't have a boyfriend I was single and I had been single for a while but I wasn't taking anyone serious because I was still with the hope that I would get back with my ex um, and my ex that I'm talking about is the one that caught me those two times in my other story time so I was still kind of like hoping that you know something was there and we could work it out um, but he was like seeing girls and like I was like fuck it well I'm gonna see guys too like why am I gonna be waiting like a pendejita for you and you're over there you know so this is when I was like oh kind of giving up on it I was like on the idea so I was like okay yeah like so I started going out with him with this guy and yeah we like would go to the club like I was saying and um so we were eventually like we got into a little relationship so he like didn't ask me out like formally he kind of just told me like oh you're my girlfriend and he was telling me though one night he was like a drunk as fuck and then he was like see uh, because he was a paisa he used to talk like only spanish so he's like see um okay he had just got her out of a relationship with his ex and that um they had like lost the baby together so i knew it was like he was more like heartbroken than anything so i was like his rebound you know but i was like well you know i'm not taking you serious so i'm you know just go take me out to eat buy me stuff and i'm good i didn't really see a future with him because he just was really not my type like i don't even know why i even like I, I was playing with his emotions which is really really wrong and yeah so we continued that it was like for three weeks but we would like literally hang out every single day and one of those days he's like hey um we had like been going out for like two weeks and he's like, hey, um, 
mi papá y mi mamá te quieren conocer. And you guys, my freaking heart dropped because I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you're already talking to your parents about me? I, that's when I knew that kind, he was kind of more serious than me because I was like, um, why do you, I was, I was never planning on introducing him to my mom because it was just kind of like, I never saw myself with him, you know? So when he told me that, I was like, oh my God. And how am I going to tell him like, oh, I'm not taking you serious. Like, why, why are you taking me to your parents' house? You know? So I was like, oh, all right. Like I'm down to go. All right. <laughs> So finally, like he convinced, like we got into like a little argument because I, w I would lag it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember now. So he would tell me, Andale, mi mamá te invitó a comer, and come on, like she's t she wants to meet you, this and that. And you guys, I would always make something up. I would always be like, oh my God, this or that, you know. So then you eventually, like it was going to happen. So I was like, okay, let me just get this shit over with because he's like bugging. And he would tell me though, like since the week that we like, um, like met he was already like trying to for me to meet his mom so i was like um i didn't want to meet her like it's too soon what the hell so he would be bugging though like come on you have to this and that so he even would get mad at me and stuff you know and i'll be like okay finally like i have to do it like eventually it's gonna happen you know so let me just freaking do it because this who's not gonna stop bugging so then the day came and i remember that day i think we were like we were at school and it was already like gonna be after school so he called he texts me he's like hey for sure you're gonna come right because mom's gonna make pozole and i was like oh yeah for sure like and i felt like bad at this point like lagging it again so and i was like dude i just have to go and i was like telling my friend noelle which you guys have seen her on my channel and i was telling her i'm like dude i don't know what to do because i'm fucking embarrassed i'm i'm like it's not even like that and like he really wants me to go so and she's like fuck dude well fuck it just smoke a little <sighs> who advises you to smoke a little so para que se quiten los nervios only noeli right so then finally i was like yo bien obediente también i was like oh yeah that would be a good idea because back then i was such a pothead that i was like oh shit that would be a good idea but you know when you like think that you're gonna be like fine and then you end up getting worse because let me just tell you so we ended up picking up my friend um my friend's brother sergio and um, he's like, yeah, let's smoke or whatever. Let's smoke a blunt. You guys, it's a blunt. And, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm down to smoke a blunt. You know, I'll smoke a blunt. Then I'll go eat pozole. Like, I already had my little plan in my head. Like, it's gonna be bomb. It's gonna be good, you know? So, finally, oh my god, I'm like getting so embarrassed just thinking back at this. So, I smoke a blunt, you guys. And I remember just like looking at the clock and I was like, dude, it's almost going to be like whatever time I was supposed to. Let's say it was six. I was like, dude, it's almost going to be six. Oh my God. I have to like be there, you know? So then um, I think I go back home and then he picks me up, but he didn't know I was high. Like I didn't tell him because you know how if you tell someone, they're just going to be like looking at you like to see if you act high or whatever. So for some reason, I was like, no, I'm not going to tell him because he's going to just make it awkward for me, you know? So I'm just going to pretend I'm not high. Um, so then we get to his house, you guys, and my heart's beating so fast. You know when you're high and it just kills your high? Like, you guys, I was like tripping out. So I am blown out of my mind at this point. We smoked a fat-ass blunt. Like, you can already imagine, in between three people, a fat-ass blunt. Like, you guys, this was a bad idea. The blunt thing was such a bad idea. So then I get to his house. And his mom is like, I don't even, I just think I, I, I don't know, I was so high that I don't really remember much. But his mom was like, hola, like just the typical mom stuff. And I'm usually very good at like, hola, buenas tardes, mucho gusto, whatever. You know, I'm really like, eh, about that. Like, I don't really, you know, I've been meeting moms since 1999. So then finally, we're at the house and we sit down. And we sit down and, and it's like the dad, the mom... And then him and me. So he was the only child, you guys. And I don't know why I never asked him this, but this was my first time finding out that he was the first, the only child. So that made it even more awkward because I just meant that it was so much pressure on me. Like, I was the only one and I was like, you know, the novia. So I was like, híjole, like, I was already shitting it when they told me, like, I didn't know what to say, you guys. Like, imagine being so blown and just being like, with your eyes. Like, I put eye drops, but... I don't know, I just felt like I was acting high, right? 
So then finally, like, the pozole comes, and I'm like, hell yeah. Like, I had the munchies big time. So I was like, mmm, I am no estaba saboreando. And, you know, I don't know what they were talking about. Like, they were asking stuff. And then the dad made it all awkward. This is something I do remember because I guess the guy, like, he used to sell drugs or whatever. And, yeah, like, he still low-key sold drugs. Um, like when I was with him at that same time and the dad was like, si, sí, es que, he was like throwing indirectas, like he was throwing pedradas at him and he's like, si, sí, es que algunos, algunos muchachos piensan que vender drogas es todo, like he was low-key and I was like, like, oh shit, I don't want to get in this, you know, but low-key talking about his son, you know, and I was like, híjole, pues yo no sé, and Pues yo bien disfrutadora de mi pozole. I was like looking at it, bien, bien rico, right? So I was excited about it. And so tell me why this guy, I'm eating my pozole. And this guy goes like this to me. And he's like, no le hagas así. Or I don't know what she said. Excuse me. Okay, you guys. So then this guy, I don't know what exactly he says to me. But he kind of like bumps to me. And he's like, he's like, hey. No hagas ruido or something. Like, I don't know. Like, but he looked at me like he looked at my plate and my spoon, you know? Because I was like, pues, I'm guessing I was super high that I didn't realize. But I never realized that it was mala educación to do that. Like, to hit your, your plate and your spoon. Like, when you're, like, going into it. And he was all irritated. He's like, don't do that. And I was like, oh, shit, you guys, I got so red. I was so embarrassed because, like, in my head, I think he said it pretty loud. I don't know if it's because I was just so high or something. But I was like, oh my god. Like, how embarrassing, dude. So, I left it like that. That happened. And, um, so, after that, like, I was so turned off. I was like, uh-uh. Like, he just definitely is not for me. Like, let me just break up with him real quick. Because I was, like, so turned off. Like, he did not just regañar me. Because I hit the spoon and the plate, the bowl. Um, but let me know, are you guys, do you guys think it's mala educación or why did he say that, you know? And I didn't eat that comfortable after that because I was like, trying not to hit the thing. Like I was trying not to hit the, the bowl because it was mala educación to them, right? Forever that would like, that scarred me because I've been to fancy restaurants and I hear that a lot and I don't know if it's just that family, but... I, I asked a lot of people and I was like, do you find that, like, rude? And obviously you're not going to be like, like, tampoco tan recio, you know, that's kind of obvious. But I wasn't doing it that hard, trust me. Like, I was just getting the pozole and eating it. Like, I wasn't, like, hitting it like a baby or something, you know. And anyways, you guys, yes, that happened to me. And it just was horrible. That day was the most horrible experience of my life because it was so awkward like I spent a few hours there like we watched TV and stuff after and they were like interviewing me and it was just like so bad I would never do it again I never talked to him ever again I found out I think he, he got back with his girlfriend or something and yeah you guys um that was my story and it's crazy but that happened to me let me know if something similar like this has ever happened to you guys let me know if you have ever had like a, an experience like this where it's so embarrassing or you're high or something which getting high was my fault i should have never done that because the that meeting could have probably went a little better but i was probably acting so stupid i don't even remember any like i don't remember a lot because i was just so blown and like i had got high like 20 to 30 minutes before so imagine how high it was that's my story time you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys found it as funny now it's funny but that day that it was happening it was horrible like i remember telling my friends like why did i smoke you know um but it happened and i learned from it <laughs> but yeah you guys um thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in my other video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a like and subscribe to all all of our other channels and yeah you guys i think i'll just talk to you guys next time thank you bye
cosas quieres hacer 